exploitation. So we've talked about this like the beginning of the uh, last quarter, so we're going to go ahead and talk about it again. Denotation. Denotation is all about the literal definition of the word. Like literally, what does this word mean? You're stripping it down from all emotional connections. Um, so the verb form of that would be to denote something, but a visual thing for that, um, I'm not going to find a visual right now, but when you have like a, actually I'll find a visual. I have a really good one. JK. I literally died. Like when someone says something like, oh my God, I'm like literally dying right now. Are they actually dying? No. no. But if you're talking about the technical like denotation of that expression, what you would have instead, where's my skeleton one? Oh no, where's my skeleton one? Hold on, I have a good one. I have a good one instead here. Oh, Jose's not here. He would love this one. Here. Got it. He was literally dying from laughing, falls to him, lose consciousness, and sees laughter before, long before suffocating. So, like, that's, like, it's not, when you say something that literally is happening, that's what it means when it comes down to denotations. Connotation, sometimes the feeling of a word goes beyond its definition. So sometimes words have the same denotation, but they have radically different connotations and emotional impacts, okay? So this one would be connote. So for example, when you have like a word like, um, when you have like two words, you have words, one word, it's like um, feeling sad or feeling depressed. They both mean the same um, connotation or same denotation, but they have different denotations. Like if you were talking about someone who was depressed, you would be more concerned about them. They were saying they were just sad, right? So that's what that one means there. We're not going to do visual for that one. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these examples that we have below. So you have the word gaunt here. I'm going to do the first example for us, and then you guys can go, we'll go through and do the other ones together. The word gaunt is a negative term, and the word gaunt essentially means like really skinny, like someone who are just skinny, okay? That's what it means. When you say gaunt, it means that they're just like, ugh, like they're like all bone and stuff like that, like they're gross. So the word slender, is it a positive or a negative connotation? Like, oh, that girl's slender right there positive, right? When you're talking about it, like in the fact of like magazines and stuff like that, you see slender. And again, the neutral sentiment for that would be what? Uh, skinny. skinny, yeah. Brilliant, a positive or negative connotation? Positive. Yeah. And what's the neutral sentiment for that one? Smart. Smart. And then nerdy? Negative. Positive. It is actually a negative connotation. I know that like now we say things and it's like cute to be like nerdy, but like back in the day, it was not cute to be nerdy. So, like, now it's different. Thank you. And then the neutral sentiment for that would be what? Smart. Smart. Awesome. Let's get into that. All right, cool. So, let's look at our practice that we have below. Um, so, basically, you guys are looking at these this example of these words right here. We're going to highlight and figure out, like, which words um, are positive, which words are negative, and which words are neutral. And then we're going to write down what the general denotation of all these words are. Okay? Let's do – I don't want to do this one right here because I don't really like those words. But let's do the one below it. Um, uprising, riot, demonstration, unlawful gathering, protest, and disturbance. So you say there's an uprising, okay? When you're thinking like, oh, there's an uprising that's happening, I think about it, for example, in like uh, Hunger Games and like Katniss leading an uprising. Is it a positive thing? Because she's leading uprising against a negative person. So it'd be a positive connotation, right? So we put that one in for green. What about uh, riot? Is that positive or negative? negative? Negative, right? People use the word riot a lot to like talk about things that maybe aren't. Demonstration. Positive. New. It's a neutral. It's pretty neutral. Why? Um, I guess you could we could lean toward positive for that one. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Demonstration could be either neutral or positive. It's definitely trending toward positive though. Unlawful gathering. Uh, negative. Negative, right? When you say the word unlawful, like it means that it's negative. Protest. Positive. Negative. Neutral. Positive. Either positive or neutral. It's really not. Um, positive. It's, oh, yeah, exactly. Right. Me too. Jello. Jello. There we go. Um, and then the last one, which is disturbance. Negative. Yeah. When you look like, at someone's disturbing you, you're like, stop it. So either the word riot or protest. I'll put the word pro. I'm sorry. Either the word demonstration <laughs> or protest. Protest would be the one. That's our general denotation that's there. All right. Laugh. Um, I'm oh, sorry, I'm in the middle. I, I just looked at the middle. Sorry, at the top here. Cackle. What's that? Cackle is like when you like a witch is like, like laughing like. <laughs> <laughs> so that's negative, obviously. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. Yeah. So cackle for that. When you say the word cackle, it's pretty negative. Okay. Uh, giggle. Positive. Positive. Let's look at cute. Like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Go off. Negative. negative. It just doesn't look like a ridiculous laugh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, go for it. Um, Miss, do you have anything? I already went to all the pictures. Um, I'll get you your final in a moment, okay? Give me a minute. Yeah. Uh, chuckle. Like Santa Claus chuckles. What is that? Positive or negative? Positive. Um, yes. Oh, we skipped laugh, though. Laugh. Is laugh positive, negative, or neutral? Neutral. It's more neutral. Yeah. It's like, because the thing is, it's like if someone laughs at you, you laugh to get, we're not super sure that one is. It depends on the con. Scoff. When you're like, ha. Scoff. Hmm. You're just like, look at somebody and you're just like, Ugh. yeah, you're kind of like judging them. It's like a judgy thing. And then snicker. Not the candy bar. You're like, <laughs> like you're being like a jerk about something. Sure. So then what's our general denotation of this one right here? Negative. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. What is our general denotation? Which is what's the definition of all these words here without any, like, emotion? Laugh. Very good. All right. Let's move down. Um, okay. So we're looking at each of these sentences. Decide from the context whether the speaker is showing approval or disapproval of the topic. Then bold, um, the best word to put in the sentence. So the first one you ever get the cell phone is either expensive or overpriced, but I don't mind paying extra because it has so many useful features. This, they're saying, their person right here is saying that they, like, do they, like, they don't mind paying extra, so are they happy about the cell phone or unhappy about the cell phone? Happy. happy. So then which words we use, expensive or overpriced? Expensive, expensive exactly. Because overpriced would mean like a negative connotation. You're lucky to have Wilma on your committee. She has lots of original or crazy ideas. Original. Original, right? Because when you say crazy, it means that she's like, it's not a good thing. It says you're lucky to have her on the team. Boss Reed and his cronies or employees have controlled politics and city for more than 20 years. I certainly hope the other party wins. Well, let's think about this. I certainly hope the other party wins. So if you're saying you hope the other party wins, do you like that person? No. So then what do you, what should we have instead? Yes. Thank you, Kyle. Hold it. Cronies have seen like uh, people who are like unethical and are like going thing. Yeah, exactly. Like henchmen. Yeah. Um, it was a beautiful spring day, and the stench or scent of apple, blo apple blossoms filled the whole yard. Scent. scent. Very good. Um, I hope that I don't have to share an office with Janice. Sandra told me how curious or nosy she can be. So you're saying you don't want to share an office with her, so she's, she's most of She's me? She's most of them. She's most of them means you're nosy, right? So. I think Faye is an excellent presence in the principal. She really knows how to manage or meddle. Manage. manage. Very good. All right, guys, we got this. I'm not going to do the rest of them because you guys are on point. Um, so let's go this ACT practice that we have below. Um, uh, both men and women cringe at the sight of each gray hair and continue to enjoy weekly experiments with magenta dye spikes and tangerine streaks, which the following would not be acceptable. So cringe means like, ooh, I'm like looking away from it. So we have A, shrink away from, B, cower from, away from, C, recoil in, or D, relish in. D. D, yeah, because D is basically saying like, oh, I'm excited about it. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to do the correct. Uh, having seen many of these peers go this route, I figured that highlighting was the answer to my hesitation to age myself. Which of the following would not be acceptable? Qualms, reluctance, desire, or unwillingness? Desire. Very good. Because all these other ones talk about like you're being hesitant, and this one's being like a positive thing. Boom. Got it. Killed it. Crushed it. Go to where it says the share. You guys are going to put that link on there. And you guys have finished and got your KLA 505 done. Put it, you can copy and paste 